For real though, I should be t making a big speech about Andrew and how I've lived with him all my life and tell some outrageously embarrassing story about him and how he's finally found the woman of his dreams. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> and while that, all of that is certainly true, I'm not gonna do that today. Instead, I'm gonna talk about Shelby. And Shelby said something that I will never forget after Drew went up on stage was kind of inspiring to me. She said, and I quote, one day I'm gonna marry that man. And she said it with such conviction, compassion, and pure love that her whole being just exuded this raw emotion to it. And I actually believed her. And what I can tell you about these two is that the trial of marriage that everyone talks about is gonna be a walk in the park for them. <laughs> Peanut butter and jelly don't even have the connection that these two do. <laughs> Babe, you look beautiful. <laughs> come together to witness the joining of two lives. For them, out of the routine of ordinary life, the extraordinary happened. They met, they fell in love, and we're finalizing it today with their wedding. Romance is fun, but true love is something far more. And it's their desire to love each other for life, and that's why we're here today to celebrate. We'll watch Shelby and Drew join hands as they have. Light or rain, it's your constant love. Growing up twins has been such an adventure. We have been through so much and overcome even more. Whatever life throws at us, I know you'll always be by my side and I will be by yours. Our stories are endless and our memories will never fade. I can't wait to make new memories with you and your new husband. going to share my best friend and the other half of my soul with an amazing human, an amazing man. You are truly the most caring and genuine guy, human that I have ever met, ever. And I'm so excited to see where the future takes both of you. Dear insert name here. <laughs> Today, I stand across the altar to affirm my love for my very best friend in the world. My parents always told me, happiness is being married to your best friend. I look across the altar today and I see someone who's really so much more than my best friend, but my person. The person my heart beats for. Someone who has held me up in my darkest days and cheered me on through my victories. The person who can understand me in a single look without ever having to say a word. The person who makes me a better man. The one I don't ever want to live my life without. Shelby Hughes, you are my person. I promise to always fight for us, especially when life gets hard, and to remember the incredible team that we are together. Andrew, 
It's about damn time. <laughs> Ever since I was a little girl, I've dreamed about my wedding day. Marrying you has far exceeded anything I ever thought it would be. Since the moment we met, you've made sure that I feel loved beyond belief every single day. You always know how to make me smile and laugh, even though I roll my eyes at your dad jokes most of the time. <laughs> I love your passion for life and adventure, and I love that you always push me to try new things. I admire the respect that you show to every individual that we meet, whether it's our waiter or a random stranger in the grocery line. You're always genuinely interested in what people have to say. I am truly a better person because I have you in my life. I vow to always be open to new things and to go on new adventures with you. I vow to always fight for us and to always put you first. I promise to always be your partner, not just your wife. That way we can always tackle life's challenges as a team. I vow to make you feel loved and appreciated every day and to always make sure you feel heard. I could not have asked for a better life partner and I will spend all my days making sure you know that. I promise to be by your side through the good times and the hard times, and I know whatever it is, we're gonna make it through stronger than ever. You are not just my husband, but you're truly my best friend. Thank you for choosing me. Can I kiss you yet? <laughs> that gives me strength. By the power vested in me by the state of Nevada, not Nevada, Nevada, in the county of Washoe, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Go ahead and kiss. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Andrew and Shelby Urig. This morning, day Mona Lisa Found the key to your heart Can I keep you? Can I keep you? Every time that we're together It's easy California in the summer So breezy Stick together high low Every season Every season I don't know if you're religious or not But I can say with certainty That this couple here before me Are a match made in heaven I couldn't be prouder that Andrew has found Shelby, and I wish them both many happy and prosperous years together to come. Shelby, Drew, may the saddest days of your future be no less than the happiest days of your past. Cheers to the amazing bride and groom, everybody. Uh, we're so proud of you, your hard work and dedication to make this wedding happen. This is fantastic. You, you really did a great job, both of you, putting this together. Tom and Sherry, I can't tell you what a great son you both have raised. We've all got great kids, but wow, to have this kid in our life for eight years, I'm proud to call you a son a lot. It, you guys have raised a, a wonderful son, and we have a wonderful family. Please join my wife and I, Tom and Sherry Urich, in toasting this amazing bride and groom. We love you guys so much. Here's to many more years. Wake up to the sunshine. What a beautiful view. All tied to the good times. No matter what we do. I got you.